Today, I'm gonna show you some fall Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. For the first DIY, I'm gonna use three Dollar Tree frames. And I'm just gonna remove everything from them. I've actually been having these frames for a while, and now that I found something to do with them, I'm gonna make a pumpkin out of them. So I have this scrapbook paper, um, you know, fall scrapbook paper from Michaels. I believe I've had it for about a year or two, and I am going to just measure out a piece to put in two of the frames. So all you have to do is just take the glass part of the frame and put it on top of the scrapbook paper and just mark it off with a pencil, and then you can cut it and it's gonna fit it perfectly. So this specific scrapbook paper right here, it has little tiny white apples. It looks like polka dots, but they're little small apples. And I'm doing this to two of the frames. So the scrapbook paper stays in place. I'm adding this back. And of course, you know, whenever I mess up, I always let y'all know, well, you don't have to remove the little pieces of hardware that I removed to hold this down in place. I just remove them because that's what I normally do every time I use a frame for something. But no worries, we can just add hot glue right here and it will stay down and it fits in there pretty snug anyways. And here are both of my frames. For the third frame, I'm adding a brown piece of scrapbook paper because this one is going to go in the center as my 3D pumpkin. To give it that 3D look, what I'm going to do is glue these two together side by side. And then I will glue the last frame right in the center. So as you can tell, I didn't remove those pieces of hardware on top of the frames, the ones you see right here at the bottom of that frame, uh, just because I am going to cover it up anyways, but you totally could remove it. Just, just take a little screw and remove them. To add a stem, what I'm going to do is take two tumbling tower blocks and hot glue them together. And then I will take my antique wax and stain the two pieces. I just found these Harvest DIY words at my Dollar Tree. I think they are perfect because they come with six. And only for a dollar, that is just amazing because it's made out of wood. And you can do anything you want. You can leave them like that or paint them like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna add my word, Hello Autumn, right in the center of this pumpkin, and then I'm gonna add the stem on the top. So it already is starting to look like a pumpkin, but what I'm gonna do is add some detail to the stem area. I'm using this Dollar Tree pick, and I'm taking off the leaves from there, and I'm gonna add it around to the top where the stem is at. I just picked up this Dollar Tree Raffia and what I'm going to do is make a bow out of it and glue it to the center right on top of that hardware piece. And then once I have that down, I'll glue all the pieces of leaves in place. I felt like it was missing something so I added some white little berries. For the next DIY, I'm making two small pumpkins out of these Dollar Tree shower rings. And I'm also going to use some floral wire to secure the shower rings together. So it's real simple. All I'm going to do is just add about, I think I did about 15 to 17 rings. Before doing that, make sure all the rings are snapped together. I just noticed that before um, I was going to put it through the floral wire. And you don't have to hold them in place, just put them through. And this specific pumpkin I'm making is has about 14 of the rings on this one, so it's not quite 15. And 
then once you do that you can just kind of hold them together to see how the pumpkin's gonna look and then you can twist the floral wire in the center pretty tight you can twist it about like five six times and then cut the excess off Now I'm gonna go outside and paint them with my matte white spray paint. So now that I have a good base coat on there, I can paint them. You can do whatever paints you want. I decided to mix these two paints. I wanted like a light beige creamy color. So I mixed hazelnut chalk paint and some white apple barrel paint and matte. And I'm gonna go over it real lightly at first just to see kind of how dark I want it and then um, just go from there. So you can kind of brush it on like this with a bristle brush like I'm doing or you can do a more precise brush so that way it covers everything. I kind of wish I did a dark brown one like with my um, antique wax but that's okay I'll probably make another one. So what I'm going to do for the center as a stem is use a cinnamon stick. So I just broke off a piece and I'm going to hot glue it in the middle. Now I'm going to make a simple bow with this Dollar Tree satin ribbon. It's kind of a light pinkish color. I also picked up these other two in like burgundy and a darker pink as well. So. Um, I'm just going to make a simple bow. They're really easy to make. I always show y'all slowly how I do it. It's simple. I just cross them like this and then bring down the top center. And then I'll pinch the middle of it and add some raffia just to tie it off. And I'm going to hot glue it um, around the stem area. So lastly, I am going to take these Dollar Tree berry picks and I'm going to take some small pieces off of there and put it on the pumpkin. So I just picked these up as well. Have y'all seen these before? I feel like these are new. I don't think I've seen them before and I think they're really pretty. So and the color that I have here is kind of like a burnt orange brownish color. So I have an amber vase with some Dollar Tree cattails, I think they're called. And the amber vase, I'm actually recycling from some cold brew Starbucks drinks, some coffee drinks. So I have like five of them that I'm going to, I need to drink first. And then I can just add some glue on once I remove the sticker off of there. So for DIY number three, I'm going to make a fall sign out of this 4th of July Dollar Tree sign. So I'm going to use the back, of course, because the front has um, like glitter. And so I'm going to paint it with um, some white apple barrel paint. Now I'm going to leave the sticker on because I can never take off those stickers off of the cardboard signs at Dollar Tree. You won't be able to see it anyways because I'm going to cover it with the pumpkin. But I'm going to paint it white and then I'll also go over it with some hazelnut with my bristle brush. I'm going to make a real easy crate to go on the sign. What I'm doing is taking three tumbling tar blocks and hot gluing them together. So I made two of them and they're going to go on the sign just like this. Just a little more spread it out. And now I have these really, I think they're called giant or huge crab sticks from Walmart. I just cut the ends off. And what I'm going to do is glue one at the bottom like this. And then another one at the top. So it kind of looks like a crate on the sign. Mm -hmm. 
I stained it with my antique wax and sanded it down. Now I'm going to glue it at the bottom of the sign. I'm also going to use this Dollar Tree pumpkin, but first I wanted to see about where I wanted the crate and pumpkin to go. So I checked that first and then I will DIY the pumpkin. I found these pieces of felt in one of the in one of my fall totes, so I decided to use it to cover the pumpkin, but you can also paint it. So I'm going to take this creamy felt and I'm going to add it to the center to cover up the age and I'm actually going to double it because you can still kind of see through it. So I'm going to mark it off and then cut it with my scissors. For the two outside areas of the pumpkin, I'm using some dark brown felt. And I also painted the top part where the stem is with my antique wax. I'm going to add that burlap bow back to the center at the top. And then I'm also going to layer it with a small raffia bow. And I'm really loving those berries from Dollar Tree, so I'm going to add some of those too. Remember those wooden words that we found at Dollar Tree? Well, I'm going to use another one of those and I stained it with my antique wax and I'm going to add it to the top. I'm also going to use some pumpkin clips and leaf clips from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint both of them. I'm just mixing some more hazelnut and white paint to paint the pumpkins. They're going to go, since they're small, they're going to go one on each side of the bigger pumpkin. So I'm just going to clip them real easily on each side of the crate. You could also use hot glue if you want. I kind of give the pumpkin some detail by adding a little bit of some stain to a small brush and I just kind of go over it where I think the lines would be on the pumpkin and also on the stem. And I do the same exact thing to the leaves that are going to go on the top of the sign. So once everything was done, I added some raffia inside of those two holes at the top so I could hang it up or, um, you know, just to fill in those holes because you could also just sit it on top of your console table or any table scape. Um, and that's what I do. For the next one, I have four round vases from Dollar Tree. We're going to make some really easy lighted pumpkins. So we need a stem to make them look like pumpkins. So I'm using four small blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to stain them with my antique wax. Since I'm doing four pumpkins, I decided to spell out fall on the vases. So I cut out some fall, well I cut out the fall word on my Cricut and I'm just going to apply them. Now I'm going to sand down the little wooden blocks just because I like the way they look better and glue them to the top of each one. I'm going to have all of them look like this just because I think it looks really pretty and looks more like a pumpkin like this. I added some flowers and a couple of leaves up there from this Dollar Tree pig and I only found this one pig. I didn't even know they had these but when I saw this one just laying around in one of the aisles, I was trying to look for more and I couldn't find any more but this one was so pretty. Um, I mean at least I found one. so. What I'm going to do is just hot glue the rest of them around the little stem and then we're going to add some raffia inside of each of these vases to give it some color in there and I'm going to add 
some fairy lights. So it's really a really simple way just to make some lighted pumpkins like this. So I have one long string of fairy lights and I just added the battery case behind the last base. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of the string inside of this last one. And once I put a little bit in there, I will just continue on with the rest of the bases. Alright, so let me know what you think about these. I think these are really nice. I love how cute they look and I love that they're lighted. Let me know if you give these a try and what you would do different. So for the last DIY today, I am doing another huge pumpkin, but with some Dollar Tree 5x7 frames. Now, I originally was going to leave them this color, but then once I really looked at it, it kind of looked like a cherry wood color, and I don't, I don't like that anymore. I used to, but not anymore. So I decided to, you know, remove everything, including the hardware pieces in the back. We're not going to need anything from it. I want to make sort of another 3D type pumpkin. So I'm going to glue these two frames like this and then I will glue the other two on the opposite sides to basically make like a cross or a T and that's going to give me my 3D effect pumpkin. I'm also making sure to use hot glue and E6000 for a really good hold. So I'm going to spray paint it white outside and then I'll bring it back in and use my antique wax on it. You can go very detailed with this or simple. I'm doing more of a simple look with this last one. I'm adding some of these roses. I'm going to put a stem at the top with some more of those tumbling tower blocks. And then I'm also adding some burgundy raffia and I'm just making a simple bow again with, with that. And then lastly, I add some white berries. I actually removed this bow and made it a little bit bigger because I wanted bigger loops. And I removed a lot of the hanging raffia from the bow. I also made another change by adding one of the roses to the back of the other side of the stem. And I did stain the stem. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that yet, but then it does look uh, better to me. So of course there's a lot of different ways to be creative with this one. You can do eight frames and I think that would look really pretty. But if you decide to make this, let me know what ideas you have. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed these fall DIYs and I'll see you in the next video.